Hello everyone, today we're talking about questioning and discussion techniques on the evaluation form. We're looking at element 3B and basic. What can you expect <clears throat> at a basic level? At a basic level, this is what is expected of a brand new teacher or, or someone new to the profession. As far as asking questions that deepen student understanding, the basic teacher has not perfected that yet. Uh, they don't do a lot of that. Uh, there's some of it, but you can see that at that level, they are still learning and developing as a teacher. And there's mostly questions that are yes or no and covering the material and moving on to the next subject. The, the divergent and convergent questions, uh, not so much. Mostly yes or no, lower level questioning. There's not so much of hypotheses and connections, uh, but rather it's let's cover the topic and uh, let's let's stick to my lesson plans and let's be done and go on to the to the next lesson the next day the teacher doesn't build that much upon student responses they at the basic level they accept the student response and they move on and uh, questions are animated and engaging not so much in a basic level teacher's classroom uh, they're they're mostly just going through the motions and uh, because they're developing the skills at this level. High quality questions, mostly yes or no questions, lower level questions. questions. The discussion techniques are, it's like trying to encourage people to participate uh, because of the kinds of questions that are asked. The student discussions uh, don't really seem to go anywhere and you'll notice that when you see that in the basic level teacher's classroom. A sage on the stage versus a guide on the side. This is where the teacher does uh, the work on the, at the basic level. They haven't yet learned to trust the kids enough to trust their own ability to, to turn a lot of the heavy lifting over to the students. They still think that they have to be in charge. It's my classroom. I'm the boss. There you go. So levels of student participation, there's pretty much one level, whatever they're doing and kids have to adapt to whatever the teacher is teaching and whatever level they're teaching on that day. If you need help with this area, contact your building principal or give us a call. We'd be glad to help. I'm Scott Shirley, Madison School District. Bye now.